Well, hello, farm and friends, and welcome back to another edition of Farm and Simulator 2015 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. It's time now for Myth Busting with Mr. Moose. And today we are going to cover the Crone Ultima Baylor and some myths that surround it. So here's the deal. I get really tired of people jumping on my videos and I see this on other people's videos as well, where they are the self-proclaimed authority on something and they do nothing but post misinformation out there for other people to be misguided by. Case in point, we have this post today. Crone Ultima, the bales are not supported on any auto stacker. You have to put them on yourself and when making animal feed, they don't work. You, sir, are wrong. How about doing a little bit of work before you go post some a comment on someone else's video? Why don't you do your own video and support your hypothesis? Because it's completely wrong and you've done nothing to prove it. This is a person who inevitably is probably the same one who won't do any work to find mods and will rather spam for, send me a link. Send me a link to that. Send me a link. <sighs> They're also probably the person who hasn't updated their mods in, oh, I don't know, a year. And are probably using things that are old with new technology and going, well, I got this bail trailer and it won't work on any of the bail trailers that I have. This, this bailer, is, it's really nice. But the bales that come out of it, they don't work on my trailer that I got in 2014 or the feeding technology that I've been using since the game came out. Um, sorry. You really ought to spend a little bit of time chroming the, uh, going through the uh, uh, mod sites and finding some mods that work. So today we're going to go through, and since he's posted that out there and people have read it, I'm going to have to debunk it. So, into our little fit tra tractor we go. And let me preface this by saying, look, I know there are times when I make mistakes. I will say some things in my videos that I'll pronounce things wrong. I'll say the wrong name sometimes. I will uh, I will maybe float something out there that I'm unsure of. But usually when I do that, I will say something to the, you know, I might be wrong, but, or I'm not really sure, but I don't typically go out there and just blatantly say something that I know to be false or that I haven't really thought through. Uh, and if I do get caught on something, I will admit it. I will come back and say, hey, look, I made a mistake on that. Um, but I don't go coming through other people's videos and just go on there and blatantly post things that are 100% false. And yeah, what aggravates me about that is there are a lot of people out there who watch these videos, read the comments, and they see where somebody read, read that wrote that, and they will take that as law, and then that way they'll get turned off on something. Or then it causes more headaches for me because people will read that and they'll come back and say, Muth, why are you continuing to do this? You know that those bales won't work on any trailer. Uh, frustration and it just adds up and it adds up so we're gonna put it into it today with this one and who knows I might have to start doing it to more in the future so here we have a bailing trailer this is the Flegel DPW 150 it comes in the DPW 180 pack and all of them have the exact same auto bailing script on it it's pretty straightforward we open up our help menu we get the five key and we get a whole bunch of options the b key starts the auto bailing process the x key allows me to change the product type and if i go over here to bm m straw round bale 1.13 meters you will see that as i approach the straw bales here look at that they miraculously go on to the trailer and they wow they load it up that's not possible oh yes it is 
It works. Works flawlessly. Oh, so yeah, I think we've shown that with straw, it works. Yeah, well, Moose, it works on 1.3 meter bales. It won't work on bigger bales. Or it won't work on silage bales. We'll prove that wrong, too, in just a moment. You just hold your horses. Let's just take this over and put it somewhere where we can dump them off and unload the bales. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. And again, probably some of you are like, why is Moose doing this video today? What is his purpose behind it? Um, I'm doing it because, seriously, I'm tired of people putting out misinformation on the bottom of people's videos. And, you know, people reading it and they think, oh, well, that person said it, therefore it's true. And no one sets it straight. So I'm setting it straight. Of course, I did write a comment on that person's comment. But you know what they'll do. You know how they are. He's wrong. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's misinformed. So it's not enough for me to tell you you're wrong. I'm going to show you you're wrong. I'm going to put a little video out here with me and a few bales and a trailer just to show you you don't know what you're talking about. Because uh, I'm in sort of that mood today. So you, sir, picked the wrong day to comment. All right, so if I hit the 6 key, it brings up the unload features on this bale trailer. I hit the M key, it allows me to move that little red box around. And wherever that red box is, that's where my bales are going to go. So I'm just going to back up over here. I don't even know why I'm doing this because I'm not going to save any of this. So I'm just going to put it in a general area here. But just to show you what you can do with it. Now if I hit the zero key, or the O key, not the zero. The O key, it pops them all off the trailer. We're done. We can move out of here. We can go grab some more baleage somewhere else. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go get some silage bales. Now to do that, I'm going to need to switch my trailer over into silage bale mode. So I'm going to come back into my help menu. I'm going to look at the X button and down at the bottom, I'm going to start scrolling through and you'll see BM hail, uh, hay, and then we'll come to grass. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for silage. BM-M silage RB, that's round bale. And then I got 1.3, 1.4, 1.5. That's the big ones, you know? That's some big bales. That's the ones that nobody can pick up with a auto baler. They won't work. So as I approach this, it's not going to pick it up. Because it won't work, right? Wrong. Now if I go too fast, it's not going to work. Because there is a speed limit on this track, on this trailer for 25 kilometers. So I have to kind of meander through the field with it. And we'll pick up the rest of these big bales that, you know... They don't work with an auto stacking trailer. Because I read that on one of Mr. Moose's videos. Inconceivable. Yeah. It's not the first one I got into. I, I get them all the time. I get them all about everything else in the land. And they're usually pretty nice and just say, You, sir, are wrong. Let me point you in the general direction in which you need to look to get the actual information that you need so you don't make any more idiotic comments on my videos. And, um, but yeah, this was one of those situations where I'm like, you know, let's just, let's just show people how wrong this is. So, all right, so look, we put two whole rows of bales on our trailer that won't pick these up. And we are headed back over here, and we'll deposit these off in a nice little stack over here. And I think we have sufficiently proven that the bales that come out of the Crone Ultima can, in fact, be picked up with an auto stack trailer, and that you do not have to do it manually. Yes, if you do not like to stack bales, if you choose to use the auto trailer, guess what? Fret not, there is a solution, you can do it, 
You do not have to believe everything that is written on the internet. So, that part of the myth is busted. Thank you very much. Ah, but he went on to say that these bales weren't suitable for animal feed. Why do you think someone would put out a mod that would be completely worthless? Hey, we're going to put out a mod, a baling trailer, that you can use strictly to make bales to put around the farm for decoration. Ugh. Again. Makes my head just want to explode. Alright, so I'm going to add in a little bit of money so we can purchase a couple of things here because... I don't have enough money to purchase what I want to purchase, so I'm going to add in a million dollars. And we'll go from there. We are going to pick a standard feeding technology. That would be this little cheap old feeding tub that everybody can get. I'm also going to find a mod that everybody can get. I'm going to grab a placeable mix station which I have not updated in ages. This is the Maru mix station. It comes from maru.net. And I'm gonna put it right here. I gotta spin it around so it's facing the right direction. But I'm just gonna stick it right here in the corner on our little farm here. And that'll be good. All right, shut that off. And let's head to the... You know what? I don't even have to go get some bailing force. I can do it with this trailer. Let's just do it with this. If I go here... I think I can do this. We'll find out. I could be making a mistake here. I could be trying something that I can't actually do. But I'm going to attempt it. Let's go grab a bale. Out the field. We'll grab a couple of them. Turn on our auto bail. And we'll grab a couple of these guys. That's good enough. Do, 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 do. And we'll head back in here. And I'm thinking that if I just back the trailer up and hit unload, it'll unload them right into the mix station. I could be wrong on this. Hence, I said I could be wrong. I could be wrong, so don't, you know. Oh yeah, it just gave me a small little red box. I should be able to do this. So if I take my trailer, I back it right up to the mix station, where the little red box is right there. And if I hit that, oh, look, they went right in. Wait, wait, let's verify this real quick. Is that silage I see going in there? Oh, it is. And look, the little thing went up. But wait, these bales don't work on a mixing station. Mm, I can't. I gotta go get the other one now. Oh well, you know, I thought I could get away with just that trailer, but just realized I can't use the stock in-game mixing station without some bale forks. So I'm having some issues with this tractor. Uh, Y'all hear a little whine? This is the reason I didn't want to use this. Is I'm getting annoyed with it. Hear a little, little whine. Well, now it wants to behave. My front forks have been giving me some issues on this tractor, and I don't know why. Um, I've tried everything to figure out why it's doing it. But it just constantly wants to uh, be adjusting itself. It's really touchy. And I thought maybe it was my joystick. I changed my joysticks out, and I still have uh, the same little issue with it. So don't necessarily know why it's doing it but it's like it's always wanting to have some sort of movement going one way or the other and um well that little whine gets annoying after a while to be honest with you all right so we got our bell forks on here and we need to reset that mixing station up here to the farm so let's do that real quick so that we can prove one more little bit of our friend's comment completely false. 
All right, so this is the stock in game, so I'm not playing any tricks on anybody and going, oh, well, you used a special mod that you've got that uh, allowed you to do the feeding technology. No, this is the standard stock in game mixer that everybody has in their game, including people on console. Um, you know, even though they can't use mods. <laughs> Sorry. PC Master Race. Sorry. Just had to put it out there. I don't really believe in the whole PC Master Race thing, but it is fun just to ag people and say, oh, you can't mod console. Alright, so we're going to head back over to where I got all the bales and everything real quick. So we can prove our point once again. And by the way, if you're watching this live on Friday afternoon, there will be a live stream late tonight around 10 30, 11 o'clock, uh, featuring Made in Germany multiplayer with, uh, you know, Alex and me and hashtag Blaine Dan. All of us will be together having a little bit of fun. So, join us. Alright, so we'll run over here to where I've got the, uh, the bailing technology, or the uh, feeding technology set up. And where all our bales are. Just so I can run this through here real quick. Alrighty, so uh, let's bring up our help menu just to verify. If you look down at the very bottom, you'll see the mixing ratio for our tub here. It is completely empty. There is nothing in it. No hocus pocus, nothing up my sleeves. Not using a mod or anything else like that. So we disconnect the trailer. We'll pull right around around here to the side of it. And we'll take our bale. Put it over it. Drop it in there. Oh, I saw some augers move around. Surely that there can't be any feed in there. Mm, nope, can't be. Can't be, because remember, remember the whole point of this is these bales don't work with the animal feed. They just don't. They don't work. See if we run over here and get a bale out of this stack. It's probably not going to work right for me, but uh, let's see if I can grab one. Uh, v. Uh, let's switch over to the front and we'll auto load this. Uh, v. There we go. Back up. I only need one of these though. I don't need them both. Doesn't really matter, does it? I'm not saving this. So, oh, let's get over here. Oh, we're at the top of this thing. And we will unlock those. In they went. Man, that thing's looking awfully full for something that uh cannot use. The bales that come out of the uh, that come out of there. I'm just saying, it's it must be something that I did in After Effects, right? Because surely this doesn't work. So if we look real quick, you'll see we've got 66% straw in there because we put two bales in there. We have 33% silage in there. So yeah, apparently the bales do work with the stock in-game feeding technology as well as they will work with the maru mix station as we have proved as well because even if i go over here and we've proved it with the silage might as well prove it with a couple of straw bales here let's grab these real quick using our little forks hey come on auto load forks load up there 
Come on. Mr. Bale. Ugh, man. Really? One of them loaded? The other one didn't? And we'll take a bale over here. Take it to the straw area. Hit Z. Yep. Yeah, that pretty much worked as well. Alright, so... As for our comment, Crone Ultima. The bales are not supported on any auto stacker. Uh, by the way, the bales are not sported on any auto stacker. That should be supported, not sported. Um, we wouldn't be wearing those bales. Um, anyways, yeah, the bales are not sported on any auto stacker. And you have to put them on yourself. And when making animal feed, they don't work. That is all 100% false. All right. Anyways, thanks guys. Um, I hope that cleared up any uh, any misinformation that is out there for you guys. And uh, if you think I'm an ass for doing this video, oh well. Sorry about that. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the live stream later on. Bye bye.